it's time to do some long exposure work. Fuji X-T3, Godex, TT350. Flash with long exposure coming right now. So here's the deal. Uh, I apologize for the horrible low lid. This is terrible right now, but my backyard, uh, we're gonna turn these lights off so it's pitch black. Camera is gonna be on the tripod. You're gonna put it on T for time exposure and you're gonna whittle it down until you see 20 seconds. Now, when you start looking at your shutter speeds as you're moving them, anyway, 20 seconds, figure out your f-stop. I'm gonna take a pop with my flash in the field and I'm gonna make sure that it's at the right setting and the f-stop is matching my flash power. That way, as long as I have the camera's eye open, no matter where I am in my yard, popping myself, it'll look good with the flash. The flash matches your f-stop. And here's the cool part. When you're working with constant light, the time it takes for that constant light, it's moving, right? It's moving, it's a beam of light, all right? The time it takes for it to refract back to the camera is how that gets exposed. So the power of your constant light needs to be whatever you want it to be. How bright do you want it in the frame? Do you want it really light in the frame? Uh, you can do all that, you're in control. That's why I like long exposure photography so much is because it's the most creative, artistic idea in my head that I can come up with in pitch black darkness. You see the blackness behind me? Once these lights go off, I'm not gonna be see anything. So I'm gonna set my self timer on 10 seconds so I can run to my spots that I wanna do. I have it set to 20 seconds on the time exposure and we're gonna start at ISO 200 and start at about 3.5, just to see what happens, okay? Once we figure that out, we're gonna do exactly what I just said, run back out in the field, but do it a couple of times around the field. So in one 20 second exposure, we're gonna create something fun. So look, Halloween is almost here. There's gonna be really cool low lit stuff all over the place, but you can do these tests in your room, in a dark room, turn off the lights. You have the little LED on your phone. Play with it, aim the light at your camera, aim it at you, aim it at the wall. Pay attention to what is bright and what is dark. And you just have a whole lot of fun. Trust me, this type of photography made me addicted to creating unique stuff. And it has absolutely changed how I see everything in front of me, whether it's daytime or it's nighttime. That's all I see is the end product. And now I know how to do it with the minimal tools that I have. I love photography, how it embraces you and your surroundings. And come on, man. That really is totally cool. That's why you love the camera to begin with. Your eyes can see something, but what you have in your head that you wouldn't mind doing, but you can't figure out your settings, this is how you practice. This is how you learn, all right? This is also how you stay focused on your dreams. I hope you got something out of this video. Please hit that subscribe button. We're on our... 
that that crow man we're on our way to 10k i thank you so much for hitting that subscribe I, it's halloween so the crows are out it's almost like they're laughing at you. it's like they're laughing at you oh my goodness i will see you in the next video i do have a lot more little baby tutorials to come while showing you real client real world experience love that crow no i don't Peace, y'all. Come on, man.